This is Real News Media TV, coverage you can trust. St. James scammer stripped of millions in fines and assets. The police are describing as a major success the result of a case in which a 35-year-old man considered to be a major player in the lottery scamming scheme was stripped of property valued at close to $8 million and U.S. $6,230. The man identified as Algrande Stewart of a Brissett Road address in Cambridge, St. James, was also ordered to pay over $13 million to the Crown following his guilty plea to possession of identity information in the St. James Circuit Court in December 2020. The police said the man who first identified himself as a carpenter was ordered to pay $3 million out of the initial $13 million sum within a month and the balance over the following 24 months. In relation to the offense of possession of identity information, Stewart was ordered to pay a fine of $1 million or 12 months imprisonment, as well as two years imprisonment at hard labor, suspended for three years. Police personnel who gave a breakdown of the case said authorities attached to the St. James Proactive Investigation Unit conducted a search of Stewart's home on Friday, August 26, 2016. In the operation, a cellular phone belonging to Stewart was seized, and when examined, lottery scamming material was discovered. The search also resulted in cash amounting to U.S. $6,230 and Jamaican $116,000 being found under the mattress of a crib. These led to his arrest and charged under the Proceeds of Crime Act and the Law Reform Act. The police reported the matter to the Financial Investigation Division for further action, which triggered a money laundering and asset forfeiture investigation. During this process, it was revealed that Stewart received the millions in remittances from several persons in the United States, the majority of whom were elderly. The investigation also revealed that Stewart had purchased several assets using cash, which was not commensurate to his known income. His claims of being a carpenter remain unsubstantiated. The investigations exposed where he directly received over 20 million Jamaican dollars in remittances and millions more via intermediaries. Police said he used cash to purchase two residential lots in Trelawney, valued over 7 million Jamaican dollars. Stewart also acquired three motor vehicles, valuing approximately 8 million Jamaican dollars over a four month period. Further, he had cash in the bank exceeding US $9,800 and Jamaican $2.9 million. Based on the evidence presented from the investigation conducted, Stewart consented to the following in the St. James Circuit Court on December 16, 2020, forfeiture of a residential lot located in Coral Spring, Trelawney, valued over 7 million Jamaican dollars forfeiture of U.S. $6,230 and Jamaican $116,000. Acting Principal Director of the FID, Keith Darian, noted, This case is still a big win for the division, despite the fact that not every part of the estate he would have acquired by his criminal activity was forfeited by his consent. The usual court proceedings around the forfeiture can be extremely time-consuming and resource-intensive. Essentially, his guilty plea and consent to forfeiture saved the court system quite a bit of time. Many of these cases can drag on for years with no guarantee that every asset the convict would have earned criminally would be forfeited to the Crown. Darian added, We are thankful to the police who sought our partnership in pursuing this matter and encourage them to continue in a similar vein when they recognize that a charge laid for one offense may include a financial crime. Let this case be another warning that Jamaica is capable of unearthing and unraveling the hidden details about how criminals seek to hide or otherwise invest the proceeds of their crime. Members of the public should resist every effort from criminals to share or otherwise benefit from the proceeds of crime. It is a dangerous and slippery slope. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all so that you get daily news updates.